You read the title, all my videos from February. Make sure to subscribe. Minecraft, but random blocks spawn where I look. All right, so apparent, oh my. Okay, that's a lot of blocks. I guess I should just get wood. <gasps> how am I supposed to? Oh no. How am I? Oh my God, there's diamonds right there. But how can I get wood? Okay, wait. Once I've gone over a block once, it doesn't change anymore. That means I just need to spawn wood like that. Wood acquired. And there's a crafting table right here. All right, I already got a wooden pickaxe and my main goal is to get diamonds. So I just need an iron one. And there's iron right here, but I need stone. This might take a while. <gasps> stone. What? <gasps> Village. Ow. What? I'm an obsidian? Oh, you have to be kidding me. <gasps> Let's go. Okay, three to go. Okay, maybe I'll just get a pickaxe from this village. Hey, don't mind me, big guy. Wait a second. I can just get iron by killing big guy. I'm sorry, big guy. It's for the greater good. Wait, I can't bridge up. No, oh, everything turns to blocks. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, cake. Eat. Oh, let me out. No. No. Campfires are extremely underrated. Most people use them for decoration, either by placing a hay bale under them to make the smoke go higher or putting them out to make cool bridges, but some people don't actually know you can cook food on them. This is because campfires take 30 seconds to cook, compared to furnaces just 10, but campfires cook four at once, meaning it's actually faster per item. An even faster alternative is the smoker, cooking food in five seconds per item, making it faster than both, but it's more expensive to make. And the main draw to the campfire is that you don't need fuel to cook, so early game, you might just use it. What's the rarest armor in Minecraft history? You probably think there's been six armor sets. Well, there's been more, and I'm not talking about the turtle helmet. Netherite armor is rare, needing to get ancient debris on top of diamond armor, but even currently, it's not the rarest. Right now, chain is the rarest armor, only being obtained from villager trades and mob drops, but it's not the rarest in history. The first armor ever was added in 2009, called plate armor, worn on zombies and skeletons, and looked kind of like iron armor, but you couldn't actually obtain it because items didn't exist. Until December 31st, 2009, when the first items were added in four new armor types, leather, chain, iron, and studded. Studded armor was like a cross between leather and chain, and the texture imported from one of Notch's old games, but was only in the game for a couple of months before being lost to history. Minecraft, but there's physics. Alright, so apparently blocks have physics. Oh my! Well, that was neat. I just got all the wood from that? Wait a second, so what if I... Oh! Jeez! Alright, my only goal is to find diamonds, and that might actually be easy. That's a huge cave. Wait a second, so what if I... Oh my! Jeez! Okay, and that dropped copper. That means if I just break under a diamond, I'll actually get the diamond. Oh god! I probably should have prepared more stuff. What the? That creeper just fell over. Wait a second. Oh my! It's corpse! What the- Why do I feel bad about that? Wait a second. Come here, bat! <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is awkward. Alright, well, I'm at the bottom and don't see any, so what if I just- <gasps> Okay, none there. <gasps> Diamonds! Wait, so if I just break this block? Surely it's not this easy. <gasps> oh god! Um, any diamonds in here? Diamonds! Easiest win ever! I'm speedrunning a random block and got the nether wart block. And the only place it spawns is the nether. Now, you might think I'll use the water bucket lava pool method to enter quickly, but getting a water bucket takes some time, even with a village. The fastest way to enter the nether is through a ruined portal. The problem is, they don't spawn built, and you need obsidian in the chest to build it, and if any key block is crying obsidian, it's unbuildable, making over 99% of portals unusable. So not only do I have to spawn super close to a ruined portal, it has to be rebuildable. And after thousands of attempts, this happened. Portal? Oh, it looks good. Are she too obsidian? Oh my god! Go! Please, please, please. No. No. There's glowstone up there. Parkour! <gasps> yes! Go! Yeah! Minecraft, but everywhere I look turns to lava. Alright. Oh, that escalated quickly. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, look up! Um, oh, it's making stuff in the sky! Alright, I should probably go. Oh, jeez. <gasps> Is that a village back there? Okay, I can get wood right- Oh, jeez. Hey, walking backwards might work. How am I supposed to get into a building? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, god. Oh, I'm sorry! Oh, that didn't work. Oh, that didn't work! What have I done to this village? No! No! Alright, my only goal is to get diamonds. Not sure if that's possible. But wait, in water, I'm actually pretty safe. Is that the ocean? <gasps> Shipwreck! Shoot, but everything I look at still turns to obsidian. Okay, maybe if I flick, it's possible to open. 
Oh my god! Yes! Buried treasure! This could have diamonds! Okay, now I just need to walk backwards for a couple hundred blocks. Okay, it should be pretty close right here. Oh, I can't even look at the map. Oh, it's like right under me! Alright, it should- it should be- No! Oh god! No! Oh, look it up! I'm good! I'm not good! The mystery of the deep dark frame may have been solved, and it all comes down to this mini structure in the ancient city. All structures are made up of smaller pieces in the game files. Take the village, one big structure filled with separate houses, each of which can be seen in the game files. Now back to the ancient city. This mini structure resembles the frame itself, down to the handles on the side, and in the files we can see that this is called Small Portal Statue, confirming that the frame indeed is a portal. But whether it's a portal to a new dimension or something else still remains a mystery. Subscribe for more updates. Revel your face. Show your face revelation. Try to make face reveal. Face reveal, please and beg. My mom does not love me. Face reveal! Hey, re real quick, this this isn't a short. I've been streaming on Twitch every week, so go follow me there for extra juicy content. The next video is from AO Den's channel, and it's of my live stream, so go sub to him. Minecraft, but lava rises every 30 seconds. He hello? Cam at 18. What are you doing here? <laughs> wait, wait, stop, stop! Okay, so you know that lava. Guess what it does. What does it do? The lava rises. That's so original. Okay, let's go to that high vantage point over there. Wait, look, Whoa. you see that? Look, right under there. Where? Right under there. Under where? <laughs> you said okay, do you have Optifine? You're looking Optifine. Oh, that's- I'm talking- that's, See that wolf over there? Where there's wolf, maybe there's other animals. And if push comes to shove, we can just eat the wolf. Okay, so the lava is actually getting close. There's sheep over there! Oh my- Did you get the iron? I did, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we need shear. Oh take it, take god, it. it's so close. Hurry, hurry. I'm going, I'm just going to get the shears here. Hurry! You need to, like- Oh shoot, it's, it's- it's done, it's done! No, give me the shears! Listen, I'm you? gonna get the wood while I can, because we only have a little a limited amount just of wood. Just give me the shears! The oh. shears! Take him, take him, take him. Just start making a, a, a staircase okay, up. up. Okay, if you liked that, go follow my Twitch. I'm live tomorrow. Minecraft, but the world is random. All right. Wait, it looks like some of it isn't random. Oh, never mind. Now, if my main goal was to get diamonds, this would be really easy. So here's a wheel with every item in Minecraft. Bucket of puffer fish? Oh, God. All right, well, I need a bucket first. Can I really not find it? Oh, crafting table. And an iron block. Okay, I got my bucket. I literally just need a puffer fish. Luckily, I know I need to find a warm ocean. One of the rarest biomes in the game. Oh god, powdered snow? It's just going to bedrock. I'm gonna freeze. I'm actually dead. Oh! oh! Okay. I guess the blocks only go to layer zero. Oh god, get away. No chance there'll be a puffer fish down here, right? Oh god, skeleton! Stop! Stop! Okay. I'm at the bottom of a giant cave with two hearts, no hunger, and I still don't have a puffer fish. Hey, don't mind me, buddy. Just your friendly neighborhood Kman 18. Oh, no! What's the best biome in Minecraft? Seems like a stupid question. I mean, there's no best biome. It's subjective, right? Well, no. Some biomes are best for things like mining gold in the mesa, mining emeralds in the mountains, or finding structures in the desert, but there's a best biome to live in. If you're lucky enough to find it, it's the Mushroom Island. This is for two main reasons. One is Mushrooms, the best mob along with horses. This is because it provides infinite food and mushroom stew if you have a bowl, and with a flower, suspicious stew. But the best part is that no hostile mobs can spawn on the island or the caves below, meaning you can only really die from lava and fall damage, and creepers can't blow up your house. I have a problem. So a while ago, Preston Plays mentioned me in a video and called me- Can man? Hear that? Can man? Can man? Or maybe you just misspoke. Now, let me check the comment- no! No! Okay, that's just one video. Surely other people don't think my name is Can Man, right? Well, a couple days ago, I was invited to this YouTuber video hosted by Tommy in it, and in the Discord, he put a list of players, and oh, no! No! You know what? Maybe it's a typo. I mean, M and N are right next to each other on the keyboard, right? Let me check my comment. What? No! Guys, 
My name isn't Can Man. It's Cam Man. It's not that hard. I'm going live on Twitch tonight. Join for pity. The first wild update snapshot is here, and ancient cities, skulk blocks, wardens, and a new enchantment have been added. There's a new biome under layer zero, the Deep Dark, containing skulk blocks from the Bedrock Beta. This is where the rare Ancient City generates, a giant structure filled with skulk and deep slate. Its chests are guarded by skulk sensors and shriekers, which from the ground summon the Warden, the strongest mob ever in Minecraft, doing four times the damage as an iron golem and killing a player in full netherite in one hit all while having 250 hearts. Currently, it doesn't drop anything, but that and everything else is subject to change, including the chests, which as of now don't include much, except for the new enchantment, Swift Sneak. This makes you faster when crouching and is used to move around the deep dark undetected. But the biggest mystery is what this giant frame in the middle of the ancient city is, and what does it do? Well, I'm running out of time, so subscribe to find out. I have a problem. You may remember a couple weeks ago when I beat the world record for most comments on a YouTube short, beating this YouTuber, because I'm the best. So my work was done, mission accomplished, until I saw something. Now you probably think I'm pretty popular, right? I mean, I have 3 million subscribers, surely I have a lot on Twitter- Oh, no, no, no it can't be, no, no! So after seeing this, I made a plan. A lot of her followers come from these people with her profile picture and name. So what if we start a coal f- Family, what if we start a family? Now everyone, change your profile pictures to Camman18, make your name end in Man18, and for the love of God, follow me on Twitter! The 1.19 snapshot answered a lot of questions about the Warden and Ancient Cities, but left one unsolved. What is this frame? It's made out of this block, reinforced deep slate, and is unobtainable and completely blast resistant, leading people to think it's a portal to a new dimension, much like the end frame. Now, this would be cool, but I just don't buy it. Why would Mojang add a second underground stronghold-like structure that's purpose is just getting to another dimension? But my biggest worry is that these blocks are breakable. Whether it's your fist or an efficiency 5 pickaxe, it will take over a minute to break, something never done before, too weird to be a coincidence. But that begs the question, what is the purpose of the frame? Well, again I looked at reinforced deep slate, and the white along the edges have been confirmed to be bones. This, these giant steps too big for a player leading to the frame, and the warden-like ears on the edge makes me believe that this will summon a boss stronger than we've ever seen. But that's just a theory. A new wood type is being added to Minecraft. During Minecraft Live 2021, we were introduced to mangrove swamp with mangrove wood, a new wood type that looks like a cross between jungle and acacia. This wood spawns in the mangrove swamp, but since the announcement we've seen a lot of the wild update like frogs and ancient cities but still no mangrove trees, leading people to question if it would even be added. That is until today when Minecraft's lead artist tweeted this video showing the mangrove swamp along with the trees in full effect. Subscribe for more updates. Minecraft but I'm a skeleton. Alright. So- Oh god! Skeletons burn in the day! Side note. No, why is my hand so skinny? Okay, I don't know how far this water- Oh, what the heck? All right, nice. What are you looking at? Okay, my only goal is to find diamonds and I'm already running out of food. Now, hopefully I can find a- Village. If I just go out for a bit, I don't catch on fire. But I'm pretty sure if I- Okay, I should probably stop testing that. Go out! Oh, God. Oh, if I can kill those cows, I can regen. Nice! Oh, God! Stop, stop, stop! Oh! Oh, I need to be more careful. Okay, I can't build above me anymore. What can I even do? Oh, there's only one way. <sighs> this is gonna take a while. I have been digging for so long to get to these trees. Wait a second. It's been night for like 10 minutes. Oh, I'm so stupid. Wait, will mobs even attack me? Oh, yeah! How fast can you move in Minecraft? Most people know that sprint jumping is a fast way to travel anywhere, and that you can use ice and head hitters to make that even faster, but it's nowhere near the fastest. By using ice head hitters with trap doors, you can go really fast at the cost of hunger, but still not the most. You need a combination of two enchantments to go the fastest, Depth Strider and Soul Speed, both level 3. After this, you must construct a track with soul soil and water, but most importantly, set up dolphins along the track to give you dolphins 
disgrace. Then, after using a speed 2 potion, you can travel at lightning speeds. Minecraft, but it's horrible. Okay, oh no! Oh, this is so bad. Now, you might be wondering why everything is white with some black lines, and that's because every block is labeled. So, this is what it's like to be colorblind. I guess I'll get wood. Oh, not birch! Jeez, that was a close one. What the? It says breaking? My only goal is to find diamonds, and you might think that's pretty easy, but if I try to mine for them, I'd literally have to go up to every block and read! What is this, school? I haven't read this much since Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Why does the sapling look like that? Oh, is that a pig? And this is water? This is so disgusting. Okay, nice. This is a desert. <gasps> desert temple. What? I already can't sprint? Yay, I crafted my white squares into a white square. All right, hopefully we get some good white squares. Come on, diamond. Oh, wait. Golden apple? Oh, last chest. <sighs> Okay, well, at least I'm still in the desert. And I can eat my golden apples. I can see a temple and honestly miss it because everything is- Oh, lava? No! Minecraft, but walking is random. All right, so there should be that's random blocks. All right, nice. I already got- wood. I guess I probably shouldn't step on them. Wait a second, I can just break trees. Okay, nice. This should be easy. My only goal is to get diamonds, so I just need some to spawn. Pig spawner? Okay, I need stone for a pickaxe. Wait a second, I can just mine stone. Would a pickaxe- a Whoa. No. You're kidding! There's no way! People are gonna think this is fake. What's the seed? Alright, there's the seed. Check for yourself. I swear to- Oh my! Well, I know what I'm doing. Give me some cake. Okay, well, I can get cobble right here before I go in. What the? Baby zombie? Oh my god! I cannot die. How did a baby zombie spawn? Jeez. Okay, now I need a cake. Thank you. All right, maybe this isn't the best idea. <gasps> but there's chests. Don't mind me. Wow, didn't want- oh. What? The newest item was just added in the 1.19 beta, the goat horn. It's dropped when goats ram into a block, and you can hold it down to use it emitting this horn sound. Seems pretty boring, right? Well, for now. A developer confirmed the horn's main purpose hasn't yet been added, but we still have a key piece of information. After blowing the horn, it has a cooldown, but why? The only other items to have cooldowns are chorus fruit and ender pearls, two game-changing items. So we can assume that the true purpose of the goat horn will change the game forever. Minecraft, but it's moving. Okay, this is the first time I'm putting the texture pack on. Oh my! Oh, this is so much worse than I thought. Oh, my head hurts. If I look up it's a bit better oh yeah this is so okay there's a village this is literally so bad yeah i don't blame you if you click off the video now uh, i don't know if you guys are getting the same effect but my head literally hurts i did not think it was gonna be this bad pre-acquired it's moving in my hand my only goal is to get diamonds oh grass is so bad i am in physical pain that's not how doors are supposed to work uh, oh this bed is my only source of comfort okay you know what if i kill big guy for iron i can get an iron pick and get this over with. Maybe caves aren't as bad. Speaking of caves, three baby zombies? Deep Slate? This could be the quickest challenge ever. Why is lava so fast? Wait a second, Deep Slate doesn't move. Oh, it's just Minecraft. Oh my, there has to be diamonds. All right, I just gotta take damage. Oh my God, I did it. Time to go flush my eyes out. Signs have a secret use that makes them overpowered. You might be thinking, what? Signs are only used to write things. Well, yes, but not only. You're actually able to place signs on signs, which seems harmless at first until you put sand on them. Still don't get it? You can make a giant trap of falling blocks all fall by breaking one sign, creating a reaction to all other signs. And paired with an efficiency five ax, you can insta-kill anyone. Just don't tell this to your friends. Minecraft, but everything is weird. So at first glance, this might look kind of normal until you realize that every block is three blocks. And each of those three blocks are made of smaller blocks. Oh, this is so weird. Wait a second, if I break one, of oh my. All right, well, my only goal is to find diamonds. Wait, shouldn't this just give me? That's a lot of sticks, ow. Oh God, mobs are spawning from the tree. How am I supposed to get wood? At least they can't get to me. All right, we're good. Oh my, they hide in the grass. Why is this so hard? Okay, I think I got a tree. Breaking bedrock in Minecraft? Okay, I got some tools. Also, are there any animals? Oh god, I'm gonna starve. If I don't find a cave quick, I'm screwed. Wait a second, why isn't this water flowing? Nice! Geronimo! Oh my! I think this should be enough iron. Oh, I can't even sprint. I don't have time to get armor, I just need to find diamonds. Hey, at least the water is made of water. Oh god! Skeleton! No! 
Run, I can't sprint! No! Every April since 2011, Minecraft has released an April Fool's update. From adding loot boxes to the love and hugs update to the trendy update, these troll updates were super popular. And when 2020 came, arguably the greatest Minecraft version ever was released, 20W14 Infinite, dubbed the Ultimate Content Update. It added infinite dimensions, randomly generated with blocks, mobs, and particles, meaning infinite possibilities. Going into 2021, hopes were as high as ever coming off the last update and when april fools came around we got screensavers yeah now with april fools 2022 less than two months away mojang must already be working on it so all we can do is hope minecraft but it's dark all right 1.19 has a new effect darkness it would be really nice to find a tree right now my only goal is to find diamonds oh tree <gasps> oh my god ruin portal great wait a second this portal is one obsidian away from being complete these are so rare if i get a bucket i can create obsidian right there and go to the nether and in nether fortresses there's diamonds okay nice iron and bucket all right now if i do this right okay now bring me to a fortress okay not exactly a fortress why does it keep blinking like that i just realized i just went to the nether with no food barely any wood and seven hearts this might have been the worst idea i've ever had and the sky keeps on going black <gasps> oh my god i just need to find a chest no stop turning dark Oh god! Oh, that was like a jump scare! Okay, I guess I'm going this way. Oh god! Oh god! I can't even see it! Oh god! Get away! Am I good? No, I'm not good! No! Minecraft, but I'm a squid. Alright. Oh, I'm drowning. The desert is not a good place for a squid. Go to the water! Oh, what if? Oh god! Okay, I'm good. Why am I just upright like that? Had to be a desert. Okay, I only have five hearts and my goal is to get diamonds, so I. Oh my, my hand is skinny. Guess I'll go to this pond. Oh, great. <gasps> a desert temple. Okay, I need to go find more water. There's not any anywhere. Oh, God. This is gonna be hard. I should have to run and not turn back. If I die, I die. Well, oh, please. Oh, no. Make it go. Oh, okay. I'm really close to the savannah. Okay, what if I... I see water, but it's really far. Go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tank. Oh, God. Well, I got wood. Oh, the ocean is right there. My brothers, I'm free. Don't look suspicious. Maybe I can just find a shipwreck. <gasps> An ocean ruin. Oh, God. <gasps> shipwreck, please. <gasps> Buried treasure. This could lead to diamonds. <gasps> No! Minecraft, but structures randomly spawn. Okay, so structures are supposed to randomly spawn every 10 seconds. Okay, there's a village house. Doesn't seem like that great of a structure. Guess I'll just get wood. Oh, an outpost and a village. My only goal is to get diamonds, but I don't think those can have any. Oh, there's a blacksmith. Jeez, oh, a woodland mansion? Okay, let me go to this blacksmith first. Please just end here. Oh, oh my. Oh, chorus fruit. Let me up. Oh, God. Uh-oh. The door, a jungle temple, and a desert temple these can have diamonds okay gold all right i should probably go for what is that oh my all right screw it oh no build up uh-oh stop hitting me jump more chorus fruit it's only one oh you gotta be kidding wait i'll just look in this desert temple oh god please please no oh please oh okay i need to get up but i never have blocks okay i'm going let me in oh chest no what most people know that making a sheep's name Jeb underscore will make it rainbow, but there's many more of these tricks. Naming a mob Dinnerbone or Grum will make it upside down, except for the Ender Dragon and squids for some reason. If you name a rabbit Toast, it will get a unique custom texture. And naming a Vindicator Johnny will make it really mad at everything around it. But there's also two of these for players. If a player is named Dead Mouse, they will have giant ears, something Notch added because he liked his music. Speaking of Notch, the last one is if a player is named Notch, they'll drop an apple even if they're not holding one in older versions of the game. You spawn on a small island in the sky. All you see is a tree and a chest. Inside, an ice block and lava bucket. With these, you make a cobblestone generator, creating an infinite supply of blocks, while dirt is finite, and one lost is lost forever. After chopping down the tree, you use saplings to replenish your only wood source. You then go to the small sandy island you see in the distance to get some seeds and obsidian. After expanding, these seeds become your first food, and you use the obsidian to create a portal to the nether, lit with lava and wood. The nether contains your final resources, some glowstone, mushrooms, sugar cane, bird chapling, and another piece of ice. From here the world is your canvas, and from this tiny island you paint your own story. Alright, that's the video. I'm I'm up I'm up late editing. If if you made it here, follow me on Twitter.
and let me know.